As I mentioned in the previous video, we don't always want to return all the fields for the entity. Or sometimes we want to return altered field that is based on one or more fields of the entity. For example, our model could have property for first name and last name and we would want to return full name, so we would return concatenated version of two properties. Or for example, our entity has a property for year the band was founded. However, we may want to instead return a calculated field that shows how many years ago the band was founded, or we may want to return both the year the band was founded and how many years ago that was. Also, some fields may be coming from other APIs. For example, some statistics about the band could be pulled from other APIs and returned to the user along with our own data. But of course, our entity doesn't have properties that are coming from other APIs. So we would have to add them, but these entities are not in our database, they are in external database of a third party, so we don't really want to do that. So it is a standard to design special classes and rather than returning all the entities to the user, we build so-called data transfer objects or DTOs that will contain only as many or as few properties as we need them to. So let's add the DTO for our entities and let's start with the band. So the band has an ID, the name of the band, the date it was founded and main genre. It also has the albums, but we don't really want to do anything with them when returning the band information. So for our DTO, when we are returning information about the band, I want to return the ID because I need to provide the ID to the user in case the user wants to do any further querying and for that he or she would need the ID of the band. I want to return the name of the band and I also want to return the year the band was founded concatenated with how long ago that was. And I of course want to also return the genre the band plays in. And I do not want to return the albums because I only want to return properties directly associated with the band. So let's create another folder and I'll call it models. And right click and let's add a class which I'll call band DTO. So let me just copy these properties from the band class and paste them right here. Now first thing you notice is that these properties in the band class have the attributes. Now these attributes are used to make sure the database is set up correctly and also they are used for data validation. So when we create a resource we want to validate that the name is not longer than 100 characters and that the name was actually entered and we want to validate the same for main genre. But DTO is used to return data, so we don't need to validate the input because the input is validated prior to being returned. So we don't need to use the attributes in our DTO class. So I'm going to remove all the attributes. And we are going to keep the ID, the name, we are going to keep the genre. However, instead of founded, I'm going to return a property called founded years ago. And this will be the concatenated property that will contain the year the band was founded along with how many years ago that was. Now since this is going to be a concatenation, we don't want it as daytime, we want it as string. So this is our band DTO class and these are the properties that we will be returning. So next we of course have to go to our bands controller and here instead of returning the bands from repo, which is the band entity, we want to now implement the band DTO. So let's do that next.